this is Amanda from Home Designs by Amanda, and today um, I'm going to show you how I made this card. Um, I really like how it turned out. I think it's kind of neat. Um, there's a few like things about it that maybe if I could change it I would, but um, I'm not sure exactly how else to glue on the, the little flowers with what I have. So I just used a liquid glue, but I'll show you that when we get there. So we're going to start by um, making our background piece. And our and with that, I used a non-Stampin' Up... Yes, I know, I'm a Stampin' Up demonstrator, but I used non-Stampin' Up products for part of this card. I got this um, cardstock paper pack from a friend, um, and I just thought some of it was really pretty. And I wanted to use some of it. So I am using the the wood grain paper out of here. And it's a little bigger than a card would be. So that makes it good that we can cut it down to the card size we want after we go ahead. And I'm going to emboss it. Um, dry, what is this? Dry embossing I believe is what they call it. And I'm going to use the embossing folder. That would be this. For my um, big shot is the woodland textured um, embossing folder. So I'm gonna take and put my my paper right in here, and I'm gonna take it to, over to the big shot and run it. Through. I get that embossed. I did run it through twice. Just I wanted to make sure I had a nice deep impression of the um, of the trees on there. So I did run it through twice, um, and now I'm going to take the a tip, the tip top taupe ink. Um, it is a retiring color in May, the end of May 2017, but you could use just about any kind of brown. A lighter brown probably would be better, but um, anything brown that's going to make it just darken, we're going to darken the, the tree trunks. There is a way, and I have not tried it or felt like it, I felt like doing this, <laughs> um, but there's a way that you're supposedly able to ink up this in order to get it to come out on this when you emboss it, and I have watched videos on it, I think I even tried it once, but it wasn't... I don't know, it, I don't think it was working right for me, and so when I was making this, the sample card the other day, I just kind of like, I think I'll try it this way. So I take my, my dauber, which I have eyeshadow brushes is what I use, but if you have a dauber, it should be the same effect. And you're going to just lightly run it over where the tree trunks are, because we don't want to, um, we don't really want to color in the parts in between the tree trunks. Um, Alright, there we have the background done. We have it all in dry embossed and then inked up so that you can really see the def definition of the trees in there. And now we're going to cut that down. Bring over my. All right. Hair. So this piece is four and a half by six and a half. So that's like way too big for our card front. So I'm gonna cut it down to three and three quarters by five. So or three and three quarters is gonna be this way. But let's let's cut the five first because I did cut. See where it's like flat-ish where it where it, the paper was bigger than the embossing folder, I want to cut those off. So I'm going to cut it at a five and a quarter so I have room to get rid of that. And then this extra piece up here we are going to use later on the inside. So we, we will be using that later. So just put it off the side, we'll get back to that. And then here we're going to flip this around and go to five exactly cut that off, we're done with that piece, throw that one away, and then we're going to do what, three and three quarters. So you can pick which side you want, this is the, the branches should be like going more up, 
Um, so if we do three and three quarters here, you would cut here. So you'd only be cutting like one branch off. Unless you like it better like cutting this side off, that's up to you. I'm going to go ahead and do it where we're at. There we go. And I think we're done with that piece. And so there's our background. So we're going to sit that off to the side for now. And I went and die cut pieces for this card. And I just die cut them off for the second card to show you how to make it. Um, at the same time. So these die, pie these die cut pieces are from the Flourish Thinlet dies. And then these are, these are all the ones that you get with that. I used the leaf, the leaf ones, and then this small little flower here. So those are the three from this set that I used. And it does say when you order this set that you should use a precision plate with it. And I forgot when I went to do these ones. So, um, it still worked, but it probably would have worked better getting the little, all these little pieces out if I would have either used the precision plate like I was supposed to, or run it through twice. So that way it makes it a lot easier because I had one of these that, um, the pieces were just terrible trying to get them out. I ended up throwing away and making another one. So, um, yeah, either use the precision plate or run it through twice. So with these comes the part that I don't know what else to do. I have the mono liquid glue, the Tomba mono liquid glue. Um, and so this is like the smallest glue tip I have. And it still kind of gives you a underneath kind of shiny, gluey, sticky-ish feeling where it kind of seeps out from underneath all these tiny little... places. So I don't know, it, maybe glue dots are smaller, I don't know, this is all I have, I think this is about all I have left. Um, they would probably work better though. Let's, let's try it with these, um, we'll see how it goes. Cause I just didn't care for the leftover stickies, I do have the adhesive remover, which I could try to remove some of this stickiness with, and we'll see how that goes. Um, that might work. But I think I'd like to try the glue dots, the mini glue dots, for this card. So I did go ahead and attach these to this before I put it on the card base. And so I'm going to go ahead and get some glue dots on here. So these. These bigger leaf sections I put up here at the top right corner, you can still see those glue dots in behind the leaves, but I'm thinking that they won't be as sticky feeling as the glue was. So let's go ahead and put this down. You can kind of line it up however you like. It went down a lot faster and easier using, <laughs> using the glue dots than the glue. Um, and you don't feel the stickies through it. You do still have a slight shine, but I think I'd rather have a shine than it feeling sticky. I don't know if we can get rid of that with this. Just scrape it out of there. No, that's not really working. Got rid of the shine, though. It's still not sticky feeling, so that's good. And then I cut out, um, okay. five of the little flowers. I cut those out of a light yellow cardstock. Just another piece that I already had. It's not a Stampin' Up! color, so I have no idea. It's just light yellow. Um, but the, the, the leaves are out of Old Olive cardstock. So I cut out five of the little yellow flowers. I'm using three on the front, and then I'm going to use two on the inside. And then I cut out three of the littler leaves, the, the separate leaves, One's going to go on the inside and two on the outside. And then we're also going to put a sentiment on this. I did I did use a sentiment. You could just put the flowers on in the corner and leave a sentiment off. But I liked it okay. with the sentiment. So I have it. here a small piece that I'm going to do the sentiment. I took my old olive ink. And 
this pe this little piece of paper is one no it's a half inch by two inches so it's a half inch thick two inches wide um, all the dimensions will be in the corresponding blog post which I will have on my website um, at www.designsbyamanda.com you can go there or you can just click Click the link below, I'll have that in there, in the description box, and you can go find out how to cut the pieces you need for this. Okay, so there's that, with Old Olive, and then I took the sentiments out of the Sprinkles of Life set and there's like a thanks a bunch happy birthday spread the love i'm so lucky to call you my friend i'm so lucky i call you my friend might be a little too big you would have to have it depending on if you're doing a single line or a two or three lines you might have to make your your sentiment piece a little bit bigger i went with thanks a bunch before so i think this time i'm going to do a happy birthday because i think this would make a nice birthday card as well um So, let's do this. And then I used the Tip Top Taupe, which is the color that we used on the, the bark of the trees. And usually with a photopolymer, I would grab my Stamp and Pearson mat, but my Tip Top Taupe is kind of like really juicy. So when I did it on the Stamp and Pearson mat, it kind of made it like bleed and I didn't like the way it looked. So I'm going to just do this one right here on the hard surface. And there we go. A happy birthday. And then I just went ahead and kind of going to put these around the side there. So let's put some, I'm going to just do some fast fuse real quick here. And I'm just kind of line it up where I want it, and then I can put the flowers on the side there. Okay, there we go. Now these mm, are. Let's go ahead and we'll try the. We'll try these again for this as well. And I'll just put them off to the side and try to line them all up, and then maybe I can put an embellishment with it and cover up where the, you see the glue dots. I don't know, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Let's put these two on. Okay. Ooh. So I'm going to put that one right about there. I kind of like the way that makes them stick though. Okay, so maybe we can share the blue dot with one of these leaves. And then, then another one behind this flower and leaf. There we go. still kind of see the shinies behind there, but I don't know. We'll see. Okay. And then I'm going to slide this leaf up right here. I like it right there. And then I can put this other flower. I'll probably try and fold these. They do work that way too. We'll try that with this leaf. That hides more of it, so that's good. <coughs> I'm take as many glue dots as I expected. That's good. <laughs> um, we're gonna put this one right here, and then put my flower right on it. Okay, it looks pretty close to the other one. You can still kind of see shiny behind there, but at least it's not sticky to the touch, and so it won't like stick on the the envelope when you try to mail it or something. Okay, so there's our front. We're going to attach it to our card base. It's just a regular white card base, but I believe before we put the front on, let's so on the inside here, let me find out my crease here. 
Okay, so let's do the inside. Our mini skirt. I did cut off that section there, so I did a three and three quarters height by three and a half long. So I'm gonna cut that. So I got the inside there all done. I did the same thing with those flowers as I did on the front. And then I'm gonna just fold my card base in. And then I'm gonna take the fast fuse and I did go ahead and put it on the back here. Um, just kind of trying to get it over some of the raised up sections in the back. And I did use a little more than maybe normal just because it's wavier. <laughs> it's, you know, it's textured. That's the look, word I'm looking for. It's textured now where most are not. Okay, so there is that happy birthday card and then I just kind of went and snipped off this to make it even with the top of my card. And there's our Springwoods happy birthday card. And then nice inside there too. Alright, so um, I hope you enjoyed coming to create with me today and that you'll come back soon. Thanks for stopping by.